Yeah, so work to be done for Leon back in uh, the pits now. So as I said, we won't be hanging around there and we're straight on with heat number two, that's for sure. And we're going to see the world champion for the first time coming off the inside gate after his stunning qualifying time early this afternoon when it was looking like he was going to be back in the teens and probably struggling for a good start position. And uh, once again, Bartosz Schmalzlik proving to be top class in qualifying. And uh, Max Frick, of course, here going from the outside in the opening race. Jack Holder out here as well, so a uh, good-looking lineup. No easy races in Grand Prix, of course. <laughs> no. no easy races at all. So um, Max uh, Frick actually had a, a good qualifying, and uh, he had a fairly early pick. He may be regretting starting on the outside now. Inside in red, then, is the world champion, Bartosz Schmalzik. Alongside him in blue is Matej Janowski. Excuse me, Matej Zagar. Jack Holder and gate number three in white, and off the outside is Max Frick in yellow. Takes her out to go up, we're away. Great even start of the first turn. Schmalzik just about and pushes into that first turn. Zagar follows him through. Frick's done well. Frick's done very well down the inside and the back straight. Charges underneath Zagar. Forces his way into second place. Opportunities move there from the Australian. Smart stuff from him, but no surprise at all. Schmalzik, it was level going to the first turn, but the inside run proved to be decisive. It did absolutely nothing in it for all four riders on the way to the corner, but Max Frick really generating a lot of speed as he came off turn two on the first lap, roared up the inside of Matty Zagar, but it's Schmalzik that's stealing a march on this race, really opening up gap, looks smooth, looks fast, looks comfortable on the bike. Indeed he does, he's stolen a march on the opposition, that's for sure. Max Frick with that stunning move earlier on in difficult conditions has secured second place. One last blast down the back straight in heat number two for the reigning world champion to get his defence of his world title under underway with the perfect start and three points in the bag. Zagar back in third place and disappointment for uh, Jack Holder out the back. But uh, after a tense run to the first corner, there was no doubt there was very little in that at all. But uh, that inside line, as they peeled off into the first corner, proved to be um, uh, absolutely decisive for Bartosz Schmarslik. And he came through in flying cars. Actually showed a lot of speed. He did, yeah. There's a lot of pressure when you rock up to these early heats on a wet track on gate one because you know you've got to take advantage of it. And uh, Bartosz Marslik does it here, but only just such an even break. And Max Frick does a really good job from the outside. Schmarslik hits the front, but watch Max Frick here. He just sees that gap between Jack Holder and Zagar. Jack Holder, a little bit pensive as he left the corner, leaves the door open for Max Frick. He was tough there on Matty Zagar, mm. who manages just to pin it back down and stop uh, Jack Holder from running around the inside. But uh, Bartosz Schmarslik, current world champion, and what a start to his campaign. Yeah, terrific start for him, the ideal start, taking advantage. And um, uh, he'll be uh, chuffed to bits with that. Not only did he hit the front, he was very quick when he got there. Bartosz Schmarzik, three points for him. Second place for Max Frick, fine ride from Frick there. That is Zagar back in third place, one point for him. And Jack Holder missing out in heat number two.